Hi, welcome back to Cold Sky RC. So today I want to have a quick look at this. This is the FR Sky X9 Lite. So if you saw one of my other videos, you know I've got 41 of these from Banggood, so I've actually bought one from a reputable company now, and this one works fine. So the reason I want to go through the video, it's been out quite a bit now, but I wanted to show you this because mine is now on multi-protocol. So the, the big problem with this, it comes with access. You can put D16 on it, but you're still limited to what you can do on it. And to be fair, I didn't want to go buying loads of new receivers, so I've made my multi-protocol. Multi and you can't actually do it yet, because the new version of FR Sky's firmware of OpenTX, I think it's version 3, has not come out yet. So, you have to use a nightly build. So, I am not, any, I'm not telling you to do this, because this is done at your own risk. It says on there, version not safe to fly. I've actually had quite a lot of flights with it, and yes it is. And now this just turns it into a multi-protocol radio. So the unit that's on the back is the iRX4 Lite, which is the one that I used to have on, well, a similar one to what I used to have on my X7. And it's got the bugs and everything like that on it. But more importantly, it's allowed me to fly anything I want FR Sky. So I can fly all the bind and fly stuff that I've had to try this transmitter out. And that's what I wanted to do. So... Let me just come out of the fail safe. Let's turn that off. So there's the module. You can see it's going to blink until it finds something. It can't find something. It's turned itself off in its power save mode. But it works very similar to anything. So if you've got the Jumper T12, it's very similar to that now. It'll work very similar to this. So if I just come out, let's come out of that. And then I go across my page. You simply turn off your internal transmitter. Now mine has been, I have already done this and I'll just show you quickly, so I've already put mine, so I have AWCST D16, but it still limits you to what you can do. So if I just go and turn that off, and then I go into here, I've also tried this with an R9M, it works absolutely fine, but let's come out of this, and I go into multi, and as you can see, if you've seen one of these before, I'll just go to a fast guy, which is the main thing that I really wanted to be able to do with this, and you can see I've got D16. LBT, D8, so I can bind this to anything that's a bind and fly range and that's why I wanted to do it. So let's talk about the transmitter. So when I bought this I didn't expect it to be very good and I wasn't put off by the fact my first one was faulty because this didn't work. Uh, it pressed in but it didn't actually work to scroll. Let's turn it off. So it did, this has surprised me. It looks a little bit on the cheap side. I'd say I've seen this in blue and black and it looks cheaper in blue and black than it does in white. I prefer the white one. The white one's my favourite. So the sticks when they come have a lot of sticks on them. So in other words, there's a lot of stickiness on the sticks. I took this in bits because I've converted it but to mode one obviously and it's very easy to adjust the tension. So I've, my sticks now feel, I mean you can't see this, this is the one thing you can't do with transmitters. But I've got this set up now to how I like to fly. You can adjust your stick length as you can on virtually everything, which another thing people said and that you couldn't, that it was difficult to do. I don't understand that because it's dead easy. You just adjust them like you can everything else. So it has three position, three position, three position, two position, and a momentary. So you still get the momentary switch. This has got more than enough channels to fly normal RC planes, RC helis, and certainly on a on a racing quad or anything like that, you've got more than enough channels. I've had this going on a plane, I've tried it on a helicopter, and I've obviously tried it on some bind and fly stuff. And I've also, I think, I, I can't remember what else I've flown it on. I think, oh yeah, I've tried it on the Tyro 99. And absolutely no problem whatsoever. You probably all know this runs on two 18650 batteries. You need to buy the capped type. So you can get flat top, so you can get capped ones. They go on the capped batteries. Battery time seems decent because the screen doesn't stay on all the time. It dims right off. So I'm still on my first charge of these. You've got your power switch on the front as you have on. Welcome to Over TX. Now I think the only thing I've done different on mine is I've obviously updated the firmware and I put the sound file on. It doesn't come with an SD card, so you need to supply your own SD card, which goes in there. I really like not having to take the battery cover off just to get to my SD card. You can connect it up to companion through there and then you've got your mic port and you've got your flashing port for your receivers so all in all it really did surprise me 
it's not a bad way, it's not particularly, it's not superly light, it's not as light as a jumper, and it's not as small, it's probably a bit bigger than a jumper, but it's got, when you're flying, you soon forget what you've got in your hand, and you feel a bit like you've got a D9, I'm not saying it's as good as a D9, but it's not bad, I, I was really surprised, I thought this would be awful, I really did, uh, and I expected to come and do a review on this and say, bloody hell, I hate this thing, but I actually love it, I think it's fantastic for the money, if you could pick it up cheap, I saw these on eBay recently for about 57 quid in the UK, if you could pick one up for under 60 quid, and you want a module for it, I think that's the way to go, I'd imagine they will give in to public opinion and put everything on this that should have been on in the first place, as well as access so you'll be able to do D8 and all the other things, so you can still bind it to all your bind and flies, so I'd imagine that will happen, but at the minute, if you wanted to buy one of these, these are cheap enough, you can do that. I personally would wait until the new firmware comes out for this, so you can do it properly, rather than nightly build, the nightly build is on if you go into nightly builds, you type in FR Sky nightly builds, you'll be taken to a site that has all the nightly builds for this, and they do warn you that they may, that it's not safe to fly with. I've had no problems. Whoa, tell a lie. The nightly build I had on before this, I can't remember what date it was, so very early August, didn't actually work. It kept losing bind. The one that's on here, I think, I think 16th or 17th of August, I put it on. That one's been absolutely fine. So you take you take a gamble. I like to say, I'm not telling you to do that and you go lose the drone. It wouldn't be very fair, would it? I'm just telling you what I've done and what it can be in the future. So certainly when the new firmware comes out, this will be a how you do it. You'll just buy a module for the back and that's going to be under 100 quid. And obviously the question then is, is it better than this? Simple answer is no, this is the better radio. In my opinion, it's a far better radio. But... And there is a but here, this is not an FR Sky branded radio, so you can't go and download the firmware like you can for this one. And that's the thing. I love this radio, you'll know if you've watched my channel, this is my favourite radio and this is what I use all the time. However, I have been messing around more with this and I've also been messing around with the X-Lite more because I've been um, flying the on R9M I've got the Tyro 129 GPS drone you probably won't see it on my channel yet but this is coming up and I have fitted it's got an R9M on the back of this so I've been messing around with that on this and on my x Um unfortunately the Nirvana probably is now going to go because I like the Nirvana but I'm absolutely fed up with the fact there's absolutely no backup for it whatsoever uh, it's a bit of a joke really isn't it that what they've done so I haven't used mine for quite a while now and I probably won't be using it I'll probably end up selling it and get rid of it so I probably will keep this as maybe just something I use I might even can have this solely as my R9M controller I think probably a good idea to do and the multi protocol this module by the way in the back of here fits in the X-Lite as well so best of both worlds thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic day Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.